Okay, I grew up in a city, so when I was a kid, a beehive was a hairdo that my mother got because it looked so good on her friend Lucinda down the street. Now, hair beehives don't really exist outside of marvelous TV shows or movies set in the 1950s. But real beehives are alive and well, giving our little stinger tail friends a place to deposit one of the sweetest natural goos on Earth. The honeybee, a tiny little insect with a lifespan of just about six weeks. And yet it does so much in such little time. What they want to do is increase the size of their colony and collect enough nectar and pollen to provide food stores to last them through the winter. I summoned the wisdom of Associate Registrar Patrice Fisher of the Henry Ford Museum, a beekeeper herself, to tell me all about bees. They get a one flower, mm -hmm. what happens? They pick up pollen on their hind legs. They're trying to bring it back to their hive, but in the process of going to another flower, they'll drop a little bit off, and that's how pollination works. Think of the bee colony like a community, a super organism composed of many individuals working together for the benefit of the whole. As humans started to domesticate bees, they developed hives that replicated the natural surroundings. This one looks like a hive-shaped basket. That's exactly what it is. It's called a skep. Honeybees are not native to North America. They came over first, probably in the 1620s, with colonists, hmm. and they would have brought them over in these skeps. Eventually, humans, most likely a beekeeper, started recreating hives, first using hollow logs, then using slabs of wood, until a man named Lorenzo Langstroth, a Philadelphia native, came into the picture and developed a vertical modular hive in 1851. The Langstroth hive is what's still used today. I'd love to see a working hive. Absolutely, well, let's go suit up. All right, the bee's still gonna be able to get in through here. Oh, all right. I'm ready to do some beekeeping. There you go. <laughs> oh, wow. How do they feel about us right now? These girls are pretty docile. They don't really mind. They're all female? Yes, all the workers in the hive are females. Oh. There will be some drones. A hive usually has about 10% drones. Their main job is to leave this hive and search for a neighboring queen to mate with. Wow, okay. This is a first for me. So here's all the built-up comb. Do you see liquid in there? Uh, I sure do. So that's the nectar before it's turned into honey. Without these bees, we wouldn't have honey. It actually takes the life of 12 bees to make one teaspoon of honey. Boy, don't waste the honey. There's a lot of work goes into it. Exactly. 